Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So tomorrow, Rockstar Games will be rolling out the first part of the Halloween update, which I'm going to quickly break down for you in this video, so you know exactly what's included and what to make the most of. So as always, if you guys do appreciate the quick videos, all I ask is you do return the favour by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so first things first by just logging in at any point over the next week all of you guys will be unlocking this scarlet vintage devil mask and just like the halloween pumpkin mask last year it also unlocks a unique quick play action so you guys can play a sound through the mask which sounds like an evil laugh <laughs> So all of you guys will be unlocking this mask by just logging in tomorrow or at any point over the next week. Now as far as the new money making promotions, Rockstar Games will be adding back all of the Halloween modes. So they will be offering triple money and triple RP on the Judgment Day Adversary mode. They're also offering double money and double RP on the Alien Survivals as well as all of the other Halloween modes. So you've got Condemned, Slasher, Slashers, Lost V Damned and the halloween bunker series plus double money and double rp on the special cargo sale missions so you really can make a ton of money over the next week and i will have a money guide up tomorrow breaking down the best ways to make money so make sure you guys do have notifications turned on so you don't miss that video However, as far as this week's new discounts, as you guys can see on screen, you can currently get 40% of the special cargo warehouses, the RC Bandito, including all of the mods and upgrades, the Debushi Mascaro, the Infernus Classic, the Reaper, the Torero XO, and the Zorosso. You can also get 20% off the Monstrosity, which of course is a new car that only came out a few months ago. However, as far as this week's free vehicles that all of you guys can get, this week's brand new Lucky Wheel Podium vehicle is the Bravado Greenwood, which would be usually setting you guys back $1.4 million. So whilst the car might look like some cheap car, in actual fact, it's a pretty expensive car. Once you fully customize and add mods to the car, you're talking about spending closer to $2 million. So it's definitely worth going ahead and getting for free this week whilst you guys can. And if you guys have no idea on the best way to win the podium vehicle i have a guide up on my channel showing you guys by far the best way to land on the podium vehicle every single week and that method is 100 still working so if i do remember i will leave a link to that video down below in the comment section so do be sure to give it a watch if you guys are looking to get this car this week for free however as far as the other free vehicle you guys can get and of course that being the prize ride over at the ls car meet this week's prize ride is the fist of neon which did get released all the way back in 2018 however still comes with a whooping price tag of of 1.5 million dollars and in order to get this car for free all you have to do is place top two in ls car meet races for three days in a row so of course there's no limit on how many players you guys have in your race you can invite just one other player into your race and make sure you finish within the top two for three days in a row and it won't matter like i said whether you've got one other player or five other players very very easy to go ahead and get a car worth 1.5 million for free so if you was to go ahead and get both free vehicles this week you're looking at easily spending between three to four million dollars so it's definitely worth going ahead and doing now as far as this week's new premium race and weekly trials the new premium race is a sign of things to come and the new time trials are galileo park and the hsw time trial is eastwood to vespucci beach and for all of you guys that are into testing out the test rides of course since rockstar games removed a bunch of vehicles from the in-game websites this is usually a good way to go ahead and purchase some of these vehicles that like i said now we cannot do so 
unless we go over to a dealership so as you guys can see on screen here are all of the test rides that you guys can also go ahead and purchase either at simeon's moto shop the luxury autos or of course the hsw one which could be found over at the car meet now in this early newsletter that rockstar games sent out to creators before the weekly update tomorrow they also included this at the bottom saying keep your eyes open for a spectacular event including paranormal sightings collectibles and more so in case you guys missed my video yesterday or two days ago i can't remember i did tell you guys that rockstar games would start rolling out the halloween content this thursday and of course they have gone ahead and done so by releasing all of the halloween game modes along with an exclusive devil mask and of course thanks to leaks we do know there will be another ufo event just like last year and i have already made a video going into full detail on that so if you do want a link to that video i will leave a link to it down below in the comment section however from these leaks we only know that we will be getting abducted into one of these ufos along with receiving this exclusive alien pajamas we don't know exactly if we're going to be taking pictures or we just got to track them down like last year that will be announced in the next week or so but we definitely know we will be receiving another ufo event and they will also be rolling out all of the other free mode events in the coming weeks like i said to you guys last week just like last year it was obvious rockstar games were gonna run a month long halloween update just slowly drip feeding the events as we do have so many events to do with this halloween update we will be receiving all of the old free roam events including the phantom car event where it bursts into flames and tries to run you guys over we're also going to be receiving this Cerebus truck, which once again spawns out of nowhere and tries to kill you. We're also going to be getting all of the slashers, which of course are famous horror movie characters in free roam trying to take us out. So we've got characters like It the Clown, Freddy Krueger, Jason, plus a few more. And we also know we're going to have to do a new ghost hunting challenge to track down 10 ghosts to unlock an exclusive livery for a company called Ghosts Exposed, as well as another free mode event where animals are going to spawn into free roam possessed or haunted so they are a load of events that rockstar games are going to be rolling out over the next month and of course as far as the other content as far as all of the masks and face paints it's more than likely rockstar games will be releasing those next week as it will be friday the 13th next week and i can see rockstar games dropping all of the masks and face paints just so everyone can start getting into the feel of halloween however that is going to do it for me guys just a quick rundown on the new weekly update that rockstar games are going to be rolling out tomorrow as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.